Now, one last area that I want to focus on in the case view documents affected by the year-end close is found under the file menu. We're going to take a look at the document setting that can be affected by the roll forward. So selecting file, we have document settings and the version information tab. Now in the version information tab, here we can select the way you want the version number to appear after a year-end close, action to be taken during a roll forward. We can select copy the version number to retain the exact same version number after a year-end close and the version number is showing up here in the top of the dialog. Alternatively, we can select reset version number to 1.00 and on a year-end close the new file will show as 1.00. Or we can increment the major version part and reset the minor version part, which we'll do just that. For example, we've got 2.01 here. If I do a year-end close and open up and check the version of this file with this particular setting selected, it will show up as 3.00, resetting the major, or pardon me, incrementing the major version part and resetting the minor version to 00. So those are several areas that are available to us that will be affected by the roll forward when we process the year-end close roll forward. So I'm going to click OK. Now when I'm completing the year-end close roll forward, it's important that I'm not in a case view document and I should also close any other external documents that may have been opened in the document manager. So this time, I'm going to select the file menu and exit to close case view. Now, of course, I'm going to save for my changes, so my changes stay in the file when I'm doing this. I want to make sure that everything is available to me that I need for my year-end close for next year.